Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to talk about snack bars and I'm going to show you, in my opinion, the easiest way how to display snack bars in Jetpack Compose. So, without further ado, let's start by clarifying the concepts. What are snack bars? Snack bars are UI components providing lightweight feedback about something in the app. Basically, just a brief message informing users of some action that the app has performed or will perform. They appear temporarily and disappear automatically after a timeout or user interaction. A snack bar can contain a single action that is accessible by a text button, usually something like try again or undo, and they shouldn't interrupt the user experience. Now, let's take a look and how are snack bars implemented in Jetpack Compose? Basically, we have three main components. Snack bar composable is just a visual representation of the snack bar as defined in material design guidelines, without show or hide options and without animations. Next, snack bar host. This component is responsible for showing and hiding snack bar as well as its animations. It's a UI wrapper around the snack bar mentioned before. And at the end, we have the state of the snack bar host. It controls the current snack bar being shown inside the snack bar host as well as a queue of snack bars supposed to be shown later. It guarantees to show at most one snack bar at the time. It has a suspended method show snack bar that you call to show a new snack bar. Ok, now we are clear about what snack bars are and how they are implemented. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I will show you the best way how to display them. But first, I have to quickly introduce you to Scaffold. A scaffold is a layout that implements the basic material design layout structure. You can add things like top bar, bottom bar, floating action button or a drawer the scaffold makes sure everything is displayed together in the right place according to material design guidelines. As you can see, scaffold composable contains many parameters, for example, scaffold state, with snack bar host state mentioned earlier, or snack bar host. With this knowledge, we are ready to write some code. Let's start with a composable containing scaffold and one button. The snack bar should appear when the user presses the button. Let's create a default scaffold state inside remember method to ensure that we use the same state even after recomposition. As I mentioned earlier, the scaffold state contains snack bar host state that we can use to show a new snack bar. We just need to provide necessary parameters such as message or action label. However, show snack bar is a suspended function and we cannot call it directly. Let's use a coroutine scope to launch a new coroutine without blocking the current thread. When we press the button now, the snack bar should appear on the screen. However, we don't know if the snack bar was dismissed or if the user clicked on the action in the snack bar. To get this information, we just need to check snack bar result return it by the suspended function. Snack bar result is enum and can have value either dismissed or action performed. Then we can implement our business logic accordingly. Now, let's take a look at how our implementation looks in the mobile app. You can see a new snack bar appeared on the screen when I clicked on the button. I can click even multiple times but you still see just one snack bar on the screen. The snack bar disappears automatically or when I perform the action by clicking on the do something text button. It looks like everything works as expected. I hope you like this short tutorial. If so, please like and subscribe. See you next time.